Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time after we found out Snow White was actually still alive. She told us that TJ, the son of Mr. Toad, was actually in her office wanting to tell us something about a body that he discovered. Um, and it actually turned out that uh, TJ was swimming in a lake in the middle of the night and heard some people drop the body, you know, the one with like the head cut off the head of Snow White, uh, a headless body in the lake with cinder blocks attached to the legs. We recovered the body and managed to do like a kind of a mini autopsy on it, discovered that there was a um, black market, what is it called? Uh, glamour, uh, basically making her, making whoever this person was look like Snow White. And after the magic faded, we found out it was a troll it seems the same troll that Lily, um, or sorry, was the name of Lily or how the, the owner of the trip trap who was said that her sister went missing. And she told, she basically told us months ago that she was missing. It looks like we found her and now we're on our way to basically tell her, I believe her name was Helen. I believe the, the troll that died, her name was Lily. I can't remember actually. Let's continue on. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Yeah. You can relax. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Not now, yeah. Jack. I'm really not in the mood right now. Well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. I didn't release him. He's still supposed to be in custody. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Big B, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button, now! What is Seriously. It you and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has Holly. been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister. I'm gonna be gentle. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing, Now he gets out. God fucking damn it! 
Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. <sighs> uh, I would leave her alone. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want to... It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamored as Snow White? What? Oh God, I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. <laughs> the owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. That's really messed up. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Fees, huh? What kind of fees? Sounds like one of those old company store kinds of ploys. Designed to entrap people by keeping them in debt. Yeah. We can probably learn more at the club. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um... Is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Mm. 
man. Like, um, I've never had to deal with, uh, you know, death in the family. Like, well, death in the immediate family anyway. Like, obviously, I've had, like, grandparents die and shit like that. But, I don't know. Immediate family, that's got to hit you different. And it's got to suck, you know, hearing about it that way. Like, not only was she found with her head cut off, not only hadn't, hadn't you spoken to her in a long time, and you knew that she was hooking, but she looked like someone else. The person that's standing right in front of you. Like, I can't even imagine how much that would mess someone up. Pudding and pie. So I guess is Georgie Porgy pudding and pie kiss the girls and made him cry? That one. Hello. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I've got some questions. She's also got the ribbon on the neck. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. <coughs> Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Listen, you could be in danger. Oh, sweetie, we're all in danger. Whoa. For fuck's sake. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Good luck. I'm gonna have it's to censor face. that out. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake! You! Stay right there! Don't even think about sitting down! We're not finished! You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff! What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like, for the right price. I'm not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> you just stopped in for the chips, then? Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? 
Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on then! Turn that shit off! You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! I'm showing restraint. Uh, what's Cut going the on? crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Tell me where it is. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, 
Mate, leave it. There's nothing there for you. I really should be destroying this place. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. George, you won't forget that. Forget what? I didn't do anything. Bloody come on, then. Prick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths, and Joneses, and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office. Georgie. Yeah, that's right. What did I just look at? The wall? Okay. Alright, well, you do your thing. I'm gonna see what's going on over here. Talk to the deputy mayor. Okay, and I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, I haven't really been saying much this episode. I've kind of been fixated on, like, how to deal with Georgie. He's certainly not the most compliant asshole, but, you know, he's a pimp. Well, what are you going to do? He's the... I don't know if he's the owner, but he definitely runs this little club of his. Uh, and I'm definitely going to have to see about maybe censoring that out, the, the nudity. I completely forgot there was nudity in this game. Um... Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, so, not sure who it was. Uh, I mean, obviously it was the girl that was on stage, but I'm not sure who she was. But it looks like she kind of wants to talk to us about something. So, we'll find out in the next episode what, uh, what she wants to tell us. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.